Really, they left for a mix of different reasons. But since I only have one minute, let's just go ahead and discuss one of the most common reasons that are given in the deconversion literature. And that's how hypocritical and awful some Christians have acted. Now, if this is you, then first off, I just want to say that I understand where you're coming from. Because seeing Christians live in lives that don't look any different than non-Christians, and even seeing them live lives that look worse than non-Christians, would lead anyone to think, if you really believe this, then why would you act that way? So I get it. But the question is, does this mean that you should leave Christianity because of it? As Paul the Apostle said, Says, if Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is useless, and so is your faith. The point here is that the truth of Christianity depends on whether or not Christ was really raised from the dead, not on how good or bad of a life that some Christians are living. The only person's life that's relevant when it comes to the truth of Christianity is the life of Christ, and he lived a perfect life. He lived a perfect life because we couldn't and we always mess up. So in a roundabout way, this can actually be seen as a way to confirm the truth of Christianity, rather than being a reason to reject it. Just something to think about.